In last tutorial, we had used object snap and track when creating basic objects. In this tutorial, we will introduce those snap and track tools in detail. Now let's take a look at status bar. Turn off all the settings here so that I can ensure that when I am selecting those object snaps, I'm specifically selecting which I want to use. For example, starting the line command, press Shift K and right click in the drawing area. Here I can choose midpoint to snap to the midpoint of the objects. Select the start point for the line. This time choose perpendicular. You will notice that the glyph appears as soon as I touch the line indicating where the perpendicular snap will land. Select the point, draw the line and press enter to exist the line command. And then choose object snap by right clicking the icon in status bar. Click Settings. This time I will enable midpoint, endpoint, and center snap. Once enabled the all snap in status bar, it will automate the process of selecting those snaps and keep working until you enable it. Draw a circle here. Then start the line command and snap to the endpoint of the window. You will notice that as soon as I touch a circle, center glyph is displayed. Click the center at end point of the line, press enter. Continue to turn on the quadrant snap. Start line command. You will notice that as I touch the quadrant or the circle, the closest quadrant is then identified. Simply select that point and right click. Select Snap Overrides, select Perpendicular to end this line. You can repeat the process for other three quadrants too. There are many other old snap options available to make picking specific points easily. After enable the object snap, let's talk about object tracking next. Object tracking allows us to track from specific entity status on selected objects. If I wanted to place a circle in the center of this room, I could do so by using object tracking. Just right click object track on the status bar and select the snap options I will use. Then start the circle command, and this time instead of actually selecting or picking a point, I'm just going to touch that point and move away from it. And you will notice that the crosser is now tracking from the midpoint. And then I will touch another line and again move away from it. You will notice that the green dashed line they are tracking indicates it's tracking in the x-axis and y-axis. Then click that point and the center is defined here. There is another tracking method, polar tracking, which we already used in create basic object tutorial. Enable and right click polar track and choose 90 degree as polar angle, start polyline command, draw one long side and one wide side of a rectangle, to finish another long side previously with the same length as the existing one, move your cursor to the start point of that long side, a tracking line will appear. Move along the line and set the point in your drawing direction. Right click the icon and select settings. Here in setting box you can add the specific angle degree.